Hello everyone, today, I'll be recapping the movie Expendables 4, but before we start, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. The film begins at a chemical plant in Libya, where General Fazan is spending time with his wife and son while his soldiers guard the area. Suddenly, a ruthless trafficker named Ramat and his men arrive, bombing everything in their path in search of General Fazan. Ramat captures Fazan and has already murdered his wife. He threatens to kill Fazan's son unless Fazan reveals the location of the detonators. Fazan gives up the codes, but Ramat shoots his son and then kills Fazan. Later, Barney goes to find his old friend Christmas at the house where he now lives with his partner Gina. Gina is hysterically yelling at Christmas and Barney, being a good friend, takes him to a cantina for a drink. Barney asks for his help to retrieve a precious ring he lost betting against a short guy called Jumbo Shrimp. Barney claims he couldn't fight because his back hurt. Christmas decides to kindly ask Shrimp and his henchmen for the ring, but when they refuse Christmas engages in a physical altercation and defeats them. Despite Barney's claim of having a bad back, he ends up carrying a heavy guy to teach him a lesson. They manage to retrieve the ring, which turns out to be an excuse for Barney to bring Christmas along with the rest of their team. Barney and Christmas meet with the other Expendables. Toll Road, Gunner, and new recruits Easy Day, played by 50 Cent and Galen, the latter being the son of Galgo, Antonio Banderas' character from the last movie. The leader of the CIA, a well-dressed man named March, arrives and explains that Ramat was hired to steal nuclear missile detonators. The one who hired him is a man called Oslit, who plans to use the detonators to start a world war. The team decides to head to the Libyan desert to stop him. Barney pilots a plane to transport his team to Libya, but they come under fire during the landing. They make an emergency landing, regroup in two vehicles, and continue their mission. From the air, Barney sees that Rama and his men have already taken the detonators and are planning their escape. A sniper tries to shoot Rama, but fails due to failing eyesight. Rama and his men manage to escape while the rest of the team takes action. Barney gives directions from the air and eventually, the sniper shoots down an enemy car. The Expendables chase the remaining vehicles, engaging in combat, using grenades to explode their enemies, stealing vehicles, and exacting revenge. However, Rama escapes with the detonators. Barney sees this in orders. Christmas is ordered to go after Rama, while the rest of the team continues fighting the remaining bad guys. Christmas manages to reach Rama's tank and starts shooting at it, but he witnesses another tank attacking the plane carrying Barney. Disobeying Barney's orders to let Ramat escape, Christmas destroys the tank before it can harm his best friend. However, Ramat manages to bomb Barney's plane before he can escape, resulting in Barney's death. Christmas finds Barney's burned body wearing his favorite ring. Afterward, the team gathers at a bar for a musical tribute to Barney while toasting in his memory. March appears and informs Christmas that his disobedience in letting Ramat escape made Barney's death in vain. They have decided to remove Christmas from the team, which will now be led by his girlfriend Gina. Feeling betrayed, Christmas leaves with wounded pride. Some days pass and Christmas goes to the house he shared with Gina. She informs him that they are closer to discovering Oslet's true identity and that Barney's death has helped reopen an old investigation Barney had tried to uncover 10 years ago. Gina also tells him that she and her team will travel in search of revenge for Barney. Gina reminds him that he was not invited. Christmas gets so upset that they start to fight, and in the end, they both win because their fighting ends up in bed. After their passionate encounter, Christmas gives her his knife to stab the unfortunate Spillet. The next day, we see that it was a trick because the knife was actually a tracker. With the tracker, Christmas follows his team closely while they travel to a secret base in Las Isla. Gina leads the Expendables, now joined by new recruit Lashed, to a CIA black site to meet their superior Russo. Russo tells them that Rama had kidnapped a ship to take it to Russia. Since he already had the detonators, he planned to build a nuclear bomb to make it explode. They had to prevent it but be careful not to let the Russians discover them in their territory, because this could trigger World War II. Russo also informs them that, according to intelligence, Oslet would be on the ship, and this would be their only chance to catch him. Furthermore, the investigation that was opened after Barney's death revealed that the FBI had a Chinese prisoner who had worked with Oslet and knew his identity but did not want to reveal it for fear of reprisals. Determined to succeed this time, Russo decides to go with them to ensure the mission is carried out successfully. Meanwhile, Christmas goes on his own to seek out a man named Desha in Thailand, a former friend of Barney's. Desha initially tries to hide his identity but relents upon seeing Barney's ring on Christmas's finger. He helps Christmas by providing a boat to catch up with the rest of the team. During the trip, Desha confesses that after being a violent murderer, he decided to retire to avoid getting lost on that dark path. Meanwhile, the team heads towards the ship. 
After boarding the ship, the sensors show the team that there is an active nuclear bomb. However, strangely, they cannot see any of the crew. While exploring the ship, the team falls victim to an ambush and ends up being locked up, realizing there is a spy among them. As they argue trying to uncover the traitor, a group of goons enters and takes March hostage. Christmas sails with Desha, but when they are about to board the ship, Desha refuses to accompany him, not wanting to return to his bloodthirsty life. Christmas must go alone. After boarding the ship, he sees that Ramat's men are raising an American flag, intending to mislead the Russians into believing that the Americans set off the bomb. Meanwhile, Ramat negotiates with the CIA to exchange the Chinese prisoner who had worked with Oslet, preventing him from revealing his boss's identity. Christmas, hiding in the ship's corridors, searches for his friends and takes care of Ramat's men while following the sensor hidden in his knife. After one of the criminals confesses his companion's whereabouts, Ra realizes there is an intruder on the ship and orders his men to eliminate him immediately. A violent chase ensues. While Christmas escapes and takes down Ramat's men, he reaches the nuclear bomb and discovers it will soon detonate. Christmas escapes on a motorcycle, using its speed to shoot the criminals without being caught. He then faces another unfortunate motorized man, whom he sends to the sharks. Suddenly, a man appears preparing projectiles, so Christmas runs away to hide. When he thinks all is lost, as several criminals have him surrounded, Desha appears and defeats them all, demonstrating his martial arts skills. He says he returned to protect his friends. Together, they begin to fight, defeating several more of Ramat's men. Meanwhile, the team discovers the only way to escape is by opening a door that leads to their freedom, but they are trapped again by Ramat's men. Christmas and Desha arrive just in time to help their friends, defeating the attackers. Seeing him, Gina confesses to Christmas that she knew about the GPs and the knife. The rest of the team welcomes Christmas back. He leads his team to the bomb, and after discovering it will explode in less than half an hour, they realize Ramat must have the only switch to disarm the bomb. Christmas reveals that Ramat's men were pretending the ship was American so that when the bomb explodes in Russian territory, it would trigger World War II. They decide to recover the switch that Rama had. After setting a trap to explode a bomb near his men, the team confronts the criminals, shooting, hitting, and throwing them from high places. But just when everything seemed to be going well, the evil bigwig appears and stabs Toll Road. Desha and Lash confront him, engaging in a fierce fight. Both of them harm the bigwig and eventually kill him. Suddenly, they see that the auction is ready to exchange March for the Chinese prisoner. Christmas heads to where Ramat is and after facing his men, he engages in a fierce battle with the ruthless Ramat, who killed his best friend. Although both fall from above in the middle of the fight, neither of them is willing to give up. They continue fighting until Christmas eventually defeats Ramat. Before Ramat expires, he confesses that his boss, Oslet, has the switch. A helicopter arrives with the Chinese prisoner, and when March sees it, it turns out to be Oslet. March kills him to prevent him from giving away their location. When Christmas realizes that March was Oslet, he destroys the helicopter where Oslet was planning to escape. The enraged Oslet reveals that he had the switch to stop the explosion. Oslet confesses that after the explosion, he planned to blame the expendables for everything and appear as a kind of savior. He then orders his men to eliminate Christmas, but Christmas realizes they can escape in Oslet's boat, which was hitched to the ship. The expendables detonate an explosive to distract the criminals and begin to board the boat one by one. When it's Christmas's turn, he tells them that he will not do the same thing as last time and will finish the job so that it will not be in vain. Although his team does not want to leave him, they depart because they cannot allow Toll Road's injuries to worsen. With less than seven minutes left until the explosion, Christmas hurries to change the direction of the ship. Upon discovering this, Osla orders his men to finish him off, despite knowing that they only have four minutes left. Now unarmed, Christmas believes this is the end for him. However, a plane suddenly appears and bombs the ship, coming to Christmas's aid. Surprised to receive help, Christmas realizes that his friend Barney orchestrated the entire plan. Barney faked his death to reopen an old investigation that proved Oslet's true identity, leading to Oslet's downfall. After shooting at the ship, causing it to sink, Barney reunites with his team. In the end, Tolrod, who managed to save himself, falls in love with Lash. Barney sees his team making fun of Christmas for trying to be a hero. Barney talks to Christmas and confesses that while he skydived, he used the body of Jumbo Shrimp to fake his death. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more content like this on Xflix Recap. I always love hearing from my viewers, so feel free to leave a comment below with your thoughts on the video or any suggestions for future content. Once again, thanks for tuning in and don't forget to share, comment, and give suggestions for films you want to watch. 
Thank you so much has supported us and I'll see you in the next video.